Today I have a gift here. So you were asking. Why, Thomas? Why do you have a gift on your lap? Because today it's my birthday! <laughs> and like the Sagittarius I am, I really love a party. So, I started to talk about astrology. And the secret is, I really love astrology. So, in my birthday is the perfect day to talk about things that I love. But today I will not read all my birth chart for you, no. I will talk about astrology in general and how you can understand better your own birth chart. Because I don't see the astrology like a way to read the future, to know the future, no. I really think there is a way to understand yourself. So, let's go. Normally, everybody talks only about your sun sign. And I will tell you a sad thing. He is not the most important. Your rising sun, your ascendant is way more important. Why? Because the sun sign is like one month. So, people started to to think about signs uh, in the way of help everybody to understand. So, the month is way more easy to know than your day, time, hour, minutes, and where do you come to the world. So, the sun is your ego, your core, so my sun sign is Sagittarius and I really like parties and dinners and do beautiful tables and beautiful decorations. Um, I am an optimistic person. I really like to say the truth and to hear the truth, but it's not really, really, really the only thing Sometimes people don't uh, relate it to your sun sign because it's only one little part of your birth chart. So the ascendant, the rising sun, is the mask that you wear to, to be out there in the world, to confront the people. So it's way more the way that people see you is like the way you dress, the way you choose to speak. So, my rising sun is Aquarius, and I am way more Aquarius than Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I don't know how to say Sagittarius. Because in Brazil, we say Sagittario, but it's Sagittarius and Aquarius, and it's really fun to say these things, because it's really normal to me to think about these things, and to say in other language is really funny. But one thing that I am really Sagittarius, I will always say the goofy things and the, the crazy things because Sagittarius need to say the funny things <laughs> in the worst moments, by the way, sometimes. But we are always wanting to say funny things and see people laughing with us and having fun is a Sagittarius thing. But back to Aquarius. So the rising sun is the sign that is rising on the horizon at the exact moment of your birth. And this changes every two hours. So it's way more exact and close to who you are. It's my birthday, so I will talk about me just a little bit. I will read something about Aquarius in the Rising Sun. 
You have an extremely humanitarian personality, which has great faith on the good side of people and connects to the search for a sense for life. You do not sell your dreams and ideal for nothing, and others admire that this absolute certain that moves your spirit. You have a friendly quality which respects the individuality but fully aware of the other. The combination of Aquarius and Sagittarius translate into a remarkable communication power that you use consciously to convey a message. There is something missionary and it is very likely that you come to write a lot or talk. Here we are at YouTube. <laughs> the taste by literature is remarkable too. Many physical and mental trips are another trademark. Yeah, I'm always imagine and thinking about all the things and all the world and tripping but with nothing in my blood just pure imaginat imaginative soul you suffer with the dark side of the world but where is light will be always darkness. Here we are again in YouTube. I suffer with that, but this is life. If you turn on the light, will be shadows. It is possible that life will introduce you to many people suffering so that you transmit some light to them. That's so great. I really like this opportunity to bring happiness and laugh and, and everything to, to one people. If me and other people are laughing about something that I am creating, I will be happy. You have a highly philosophical side. The challenge here is to learn to apply it in practical reality. For you, life would be lived with maximum relaxation. <laughs> yeah. You are a really lucky person, which gets angry people who believe that you do not suffer, which is not true. So those are kind of the good things of Aquarius, but there are bad things too. Because I always take care of being really, really, really knowing what I'm saying. Because if I do not know, I will not say anything. So sometimes I will get really angry because people are saying that I, I'm not talking the right things or doing the right things and I will probably have thought about this many, many hours, many days, many months before doing something or talking something. So I will always try to not be wrong. And this is hard. It's not easy to to always try to, to do the right things. And you get really mad when people show you that you are not right, but you are right. And if you are right and somebody says that you are not, you will probably get angry or, okay, bye. I, do, I will not lost my time with you. Another detail about Aquarius. We will always see the future like 
new trends, new things, new uh, ways of, of dressing or the new fashion before or think about the new ways of living before people. So sometimes you, you will think like a modern future person. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that, but people will sometimes not be ready for that. So we, you will be, oh my God, this is so old. This is so not right now. And people will not be in the same moment as you. And it gets really frustrating. But it's life. Today we will only talk about the principal, the top uh, aspects of the birth chart. So we will finish with the moon. And the moon is kind of the way you think, the way you feel the things. And my moon is Gemini, and Gemini is the bipolar, the two sides things. So my mind is always changing fast, and I always need to be doing a lot of things in the same time because I need to change for different things or I will get bored and that's why I'm always so full of ideas and really need to do a lot of things in the same time. So. This is good for me. This is why I think that I like the musical theater because we are always doing a lot of things in the same time. And this is the moon. This is the, the way that you see the world and process the things and you work with the things that you see and you feel, and how do you turn this again, put this back to the world. So Gemini likes to, to talk, to say things, to help, to, to tell stories and things they know about, and is really what I like to do. It's what we are doing here now, today, and in this advent calendar. So thank you so much to be here with me in my birthday. Um, I hope you guys like astrology. And if you don't like, okay, I don't care. <laughs> I wish you well. I wish you well in hell. <laughs> <laughs> I really burn let's, in hell. Let, let's try to <laughs> um, and see you guys tomorrow with another day in our advent calendar. And that's it. Bye.